and together we're the Mini Bees. Welcome, Welcome back, back to our series, series Fun with Science! We know it's the holidays, so we're not going to bore you out. In this video, we've included an interesting experiment. And do you know what it's about? Hydroelectricity! What is hydroelectricity? Hydro powers energy in moving water. People have a long history in using water flowing in streams and rivers to produce mechanical energy. Hydro power was one of the first sources of energy and until 2019, hydro power was one of the largest sources of energy in total annual renewable electricity generation. What is renewable energy? Renewable energy has energy sources that are not used up. For example, solar power from the sun, as we won't use up all the sunlight from the sun. Examples of non-renewable energy sources are fossil fuels like coal and oil. Once we use or burn these resources, they are gone forever. And they take millions of years to develop again. Hydropower relies on the water cycle. Understanding the water cycle is important to understand hydropower. The water cycle has three strengths. The sun heats up surfaces like lakes, oceans, and rivers, which causes the water to evaporate. Water vapor condenses into clouds and precipitates as rain and snow. Precipitation collects in streams, rivers, and lakes, which empty out into oceans and seas, where it evaporates and begins the water cycle again. Now we are going to do an experiment on how hydropower is generated. First, cut the top part off of the bottle. We won't be needing that. Use a pin or a pencil to poke six holes around the base. like this. They should be at least 2 cm long. Then push the six pieces into the holes that we just made. Knot the three sing strings together to make a fourth string. Make sure you're outside to do this part. Take a jug of water and pour it inside the bottle. The water should come out of the straws making the bottle rotate. the bottle. Our largest hydroelectric power scheme is the Snowy River Hydro Scheme. It produces power to more than 70% of East Australia. It also produces power to peak hours as our major cities, including Sydney, Brisbane, Canberra, Tasmania, and Melbourne. Australia has more than 100 operating hydroelectric power systems. These are lo located in our highest rainfall and elevation, elevation, which are New South Wales and Tasmania. The most common method of producing hydroelectric power is by pumping dam water stored in vast reservoirs through turbines that spin and in turn activate a generator to produce electricity. 
Just like in our experiment, the water flowing through the straws rotated the bottle and the water flowing through the dam then rotates big turbines which, in, which produces electricity. The force of the water is so powerful that it produces electricity several times during this process. The more the height of the waterfall, the more electricity. When do you think we found out that uh, we can use water to generate electricity? In 1878, the world's first hydroelectric power scheme was developed at Cragside in Northumberland, England by Williams Armstrong. It was used to power a single arc lamp in his art gallery. Hope you had fun today at doing the experiment with us and learned about hydropower too. If you want us to do more videos in this series, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends who might like it too. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. Bye! Bye.